Hey everybody, I am back again. And I just wanted to share some stuff I ordered from Stampin' Up. Back in either May or June, I can't even, I can't remember. It must have been when they came out with their new catalog, annual catalog. They had a special going on if you signed up for the kit that you got a little extra than what they normally get. So I thought it was a pretty good deal if I just signed up for the kit and then um, got a little extra. And um, yeah, not that I'm act I don't really plan on actively selling or anything like that. They give a lot of all this other stuff in your kit. I just wanted the extra goodies. But um, this catalog was, the cover of this just, it was gorgeous. It sold me. I'm sure you guys have seen it, but it's so beautiful the way they have the, um, it's like the, the alcohol ink vibe going on. But this I just adored. So I did order the stamp set and the die set in my the kit order and I ordered the new in colors too but this is the new catalog and a lot of great things in here I used to be a demo I used to be with Stampin' Up years and years ago and then I just felt that they weren't I don't know it just they weren't really on trend that I felt so I kind of got out of Stampin' Up um, but I'm noticing that they're really, it looks like they're starting to, you know, take note of the trends, the color, um, the color families that are coming out and just the style of stamps, if you know what I mean, like, especially this is definitely on trend, but yeah, I just, I think they're, um, they came out with a lot of cute stuff, so I thought, why not? Um, yeah, this is, I have another order coming, um, should be delivered Wednesday, so if you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, put the notification bell, because I'll be doing a um, unboxing of that order. I kind of spoiled myself and did a Kind of early Christmas in July for Kathy, but um, you get a discount too if you're a demonstrator and you get to order early when they um, put out their new their new catalogs and stuff like that. But um, this is the annual catalog and they do have now, where did I put it? This is new, they're putting out mini catalogs and I know that Close to My Heart does that. They put out like every two months little, they have an annual catalog and then they have a mini catalog. But I guess Stampin' Up, they kind of caught on to that and they're doing mini catalogs that they do. Um, when I signed up, this one was from January to June. So this is no longer valid because this ended in June. But then they had another another one that starts. This was originally, this is their holiday one, and it originally starts, started July to December, but I guess with some shipping issues with COVID and all that kind of stuff, it's starting August, and I think it starts August 3rd. I'm not really 100%. But they're also doing another celebration, um, August, third through September 30th. So if you order, I think $50 worth of merchandise, you get to have um, your choice of the celebration items for free. Um, apparently I can't show you what's inside the catalogs because they haven't gone live to the public yet. So once they go live, I can show you the insides. Um, but I can show you what I ordered when I get my order this week. So that's a good one. And there's other um, demos on YouTube that are already um, showing their pre-orders too. But yeah, so that's exciting. That's coming out, getting me ready for the holidays. So as far as my um, initial order that I placed, I'll show you what I got. I did get the, the stamp set and the 
dies to this and it's called artistically inked and you can hear Yogi eating in the background but this is just it like mimics the watercolor alcohol ink vibe so I can't wait to um, do this up and they this is a they've changed up their stamps too I have already placed the stickers on here and I know before it was for these rubber stamps it was really hard for these to keep the sticky to um, to lay on your acrylic block but it looks like they did some different things to it and it sticks a lot better because I know that we used to have to do that little trick to where you put your mono tombow on the back of these to get it a little tacky and then it would stick to your um, acrylic block but apparently they redid them and I had I took them out of the rub the red rubber these come in red rubber and I took them out and I put them on the little sheets but these are the stamps so I just can't wait to play with these because I'm loving this flower and it's what they have right there so pretty so I got the artistically inked and then I did get the dies to go with it Get these beautiful dies. And then I got a couple of embossing folders. I've already taken them out of the packaging, but this is like a sea themed embossing folder. Oop. So I cannot wait to use this, but if you can. I don't know if you can tell the design. You, know, you can't really can't, can you? Nope, you can't. Nope, I'll have to emboss it out, but you can see a little bit there. That's gonna be really pretty. So I got that. And then I got this. It's called Tasteful Textile. And it gives the impression of almost like a fabric. So I'll definitely have to um, try this out. So yeah. Oops. So this will be fun to try. So I picked up that and then I did get the in colors that they came out with. And not all of them are I believe these are the five in colors. Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, Pale Papaya, Fresh Freesia, and then Polished Pink. I believe that those are um, the new in colors. Let's see. know my way around this catalog at all. Okay, the 2123 in colors. It is the Fresh Freesia Polished Pink Evening Evergreen Soft Succulent Pale Papaya and then for the 2021 or 20 22 in colors is this side here. And I did get Just Jade. I got Magenta Madness. I think in my order that's coming, I also ordered the Misty Moonlight. Um, the Bumblebee is really pretty too. So I picked up those and when I 
pick up my ink pads wherever I'm ordering my ink pads. I always pick up the reinker, so that's just a good, um, just yeah. When you pick when you get an ink, um, a stamping pad or an ink pad from any company, really, get their reinker too. So if it dries out, you're, and if they discontinue it, then you're you know you're good to go. You're not going to be out. So. I have those, really like those colors. And then I did get the Just Jade and the Magenta Madness. So those are really pretty. And then here are the, um, the little cardstock bundle that I got this. I was already looking through it and I got it all messed up here. So this looks like the Evening Evergreen. It's a nice dark Christmas tree green, I always say. And then this is the Polished Pink. And this looks like a, um, the pink in real life, not through the camera, but it's more like a nice bright bubblegum pink, I guess. I'll have to see how the ink stamps out, but it's pretty. Can't go wrong with pink, right? Any shade of pink is pretty. This, I believe, is the Soft Succulent. Very pretty, light. Uh, like a dark mint, almost. And then the Fresh Freesia to be cute for a nice light Halloween color. And then this is the Pale Papaya, Pale Papaya, another real pretty color. So I want to make some cards, so we'll do that. Get some of this cardstock cut down and we can make some cards. I'll come back and do that. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you what Stampin' Up! is. This is their, um, I'm sh I don't know if you guys, if you guys want to see a flip through, let me know and we can do a flip through. But their catalog is really pretty. It's really just, it's pretty to look at. They've got some really great products out. And I love getting ideas from the catalog too. Um, I'll show you. Some of the stuff I've noticed that we see over and over again, just different, just different designs of it, you know. But I definitely, I got the, the strawberry, the sweet strawberry bundle, and you know if you get the bundles, you get a little bit of a discount. Um, not hugely crazy about this color scheme. I love the. They have an embossing folder of the, what do you call that, the cheetah print. The stamp set would be really cool. I think this would be really cool. I'm just not into the dark. I'm not, I'm not into that color palette, I guess. It doesn't really, it doesn't speak to me, I guess. That's a really sweet stamp set right there. I definitely want to get into more stamping. Um, my mojo has been really, it's just been non-existent lately. And I think if I just focus on this turtles, these turtles are really cute. If I focus on some basics, maybe that'll help me um, get the mojo flowing. And I thought making some cards, I don't know, I've had a weird craving to make some cards lately 
and just to get stamping because when I do stamp definitely um, it's relaxing this is pretty so I guess we're kind of just going through this catalog now these are really pretty And I can show you the inside of this catalog because this is open to the public. This is really pretty how they did this little, this girl, this lady, just, she's looking out into the field. I just, it's pretty. And I definitely, I got some of the Stampin' Blends too. I want to try them to see how they are. They've got some really cute holiday stuff coming out. The snowmen are so cute. I'm starting to get back into the snowmen. I'm in Florida, so um, starting, you know, and I grew up up north, so I definitely miss the snow around the holidays, but being in Florida, it's hard to get it's hard, hard to get into like snowmen and stuff like that, but I'm slowly getting back into it. This is a cute little set for the holidays. If you want little greetings for like tags or something like that, that's cute. And then this is the, the suite for the um, artistically inked they're calling it Expressions in Ink, but I don't think that the paper is available right now. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But it's just so pretty. I love how they mixed the pinks and the papaya and the green. I'm wondering if that's jade. Yeah, it's just jade. This is the color palettes that they're... Let me fix my... the colors that they're using in here. Polished pink, pale papaya, pear pizzazz, the just jade, shaded spruce, and evening evergreen. It just looks so, with gold, it looks gorgeous together. So pretty. That alone is what sold me on the I wanted that stamp set. These are really cute too. I like these stamp sets. Definitely, I love the mushrooms. These are really cool vintage ones. This is pretty. I know. Have you? Are you guys? Um, have you guys seen the new catalog? What are your favorites? Let me know. And I kind of want to do um, Stampin' Up! They, they really tailor to like card making and stuff. But I really, um, I want to use their products as, like for more of the, the Happy Mail, the Happy Mail um, community. If you know what I mean like a lot of embellishments and stuff like that and cards too tags so yeah so um, stampin up is looking pretty good we've got some organizing stuff out Again, I'm really loving the colors that they're coming out with. The papers are so pretty. I don't think this paper is available. I think it's not right now. I'll have to find out about that, but it's got like gold in it. But you could definitely make your own background papers like that. You could do your smushing technique or anything like that. So that'll be fun to try to recreate.
So yeah, you guys, this is just a little quick glance at the catalog. Um, I can't wait for my order to come in this week so I can show you what I got. I kind of spoiled myself. I love how they do those strawberries in the little, in the pink. And I love how they're coming out with that, you know, the pink and the orange and the peach combo. The Dragonfi Dragonfly Garden Bundle is also another bundle that I've been eyeing because it comes with a, the Dragonfly, I think that's a punch. Yeah, punch, it's a punch bundle. So that's cool. So yeah, that's just a quick look of the catalog, you guys, and this is what I picked up. Um, to play with. You get all this other stuff too. Um, I'm not going to be doing parties or anything like that. But I will be excited to try out these embossing folders and those stamps and dies. So I hope everybody's having a great weekend and I will catch you in the next video. Have a good one.